opposite place. What do all those words and symbols mean? This is Nicholas's room, my god. Father, father um, liars, thieves, forgers, monsters, sadists, he and I. Young Nicholas's diary. Um, let's check that out in a minute. I make long trips without even moving. Human equals beast. Thank you for just writing this out on the wall, Nicholas. It's always absurd, the stuff that gets written on video game walls. So young Nicholas was... Sleeping in bed and also embodying a monster? Everyone I meet has two faces. One is human, the other is a face of a beast. We both saw through a hole in the wall what my father did to that lady. Hunting dangerous game is the most fun. December 22nd, 1849. I've apologized so many times, but he says I must be punished to learn. Dad, why are you hurting me? I kept asking, and he was so furious that his face went red. Finally, he spat and said, why do you keep hurting us? January 3rd, 1850. Darkness is the worst. I hate it. There's nothing that scares me more. I don't know what I did wrong this time. Maybe I didn't do anything. Maybe it was wrong I was even born. I think my father wants to get rid of me. It's not because I did something wrong. It's about me. He just doesn't want me in his life. I'm a nuisance to him. What else could it be? The fact I took his pencil, the one I write with now whenever a bit of light comes in through the cracks? I really don't know. March 24th, 19, uh, 1850. I've had a dream where I took off my clothes and ran around the inn naked, yelling at guests like crazy. They were scared of me. They were adults, and yet they were scared. It was just a dream. In fact, I'm the one who's scared. I broke a plate. All my dinner wasted. Father thought I did it on purpose. I never do anything on purpose. My hands are shaking. I can't write anymore. May 15th, 1850. I'm not alone here. He's walking around the house too. I'm not sure if I like it. He's not saying anything, just smiling. I'm looking down, not saying anything. June 6th, 1850. He's actually nice to me. Not the way I first thought he was. At least I have some company for my trips to the woods. I can't tell my father anything. He would get mad. August 11th, 1850. Today it's the same old story. Closet and darkness. But this time he's here with me. I tell him I was good and it wasn't my fault. It's my father and others to blame. The old man locks me up because he's ashamed of me. He'd rather I hadn't been born, or I was someone else. At first he doesn't believe me, but then he says I'm right. He tells me not to worry and to be patient. He says everything will be alright. I tell him it already is, because neither of us will be alone again. September 23rd, 1850. I'm not a child anymore. I don't have to listen to my father just because he's bigger and older. I'm smart and I have a lot of ideas. I talked about them when we both sat in the dark. He said it's sick. So what? Maybe I am sick after what the world has done to me. At night we will go in the woods to hunt for dangerous beasts. October 2nd, 1850. He went to sleep, so I'm going alone. 
The old man has brought a new whore to the inn. He thinks no one will notice. I saw Whitehead spit a miner in the face. I clenched my fists, dreaming there. They are beating them both to a pulp. October 7th, 1850. He has no idea what I've planned, but it's only a matter of days. I'll tell him soon. I know where the old man keeps gunpowder barrels. As soon as we get out of this fucking closet, we're going to have a ball. I asked the dame from the inn if she would show me her twat. She told the old man, plus she took me for... N. And now we're both rotting in here. I should have fucking killed her. People like that are just a waste of space. The closet is the worst fucking thing. I wish I could shatter it to goddamn pieces. Well, I know a similar place. In fact, it's quite the same. Dark, cold, and hell-like. It must burn if we want to put an end to our suffering. People are fucking scum. I've said it all along. I feel like I have a lot to say and yet almost nothing at all. I'm just gonna carry on, I guess. The man in the mask. Now I know who he is. What the hell is that? Someone's at the door. The man in the mask. I know who he is now. I figured it out when he came to my aid again. He's my father. When the detective died, he turned into an ice phantom that almost took my life. The frost scorched the skin on my hands and face. Icicles headed for my heart. But my father, hidden behind the mask and the top hat, came to my rescue one more time. He shows up and disappears like a ghost. Does that mean he's dead like the others? And now he's trying to protect me from beyond the grave. I should have recognized him before. His clothes, top hat. But he was the bane of my existence when he was alive, so why is he on my side now? The more I know, the less I understand. Father! Why is he protecting me? What is he trying to tell me? Is it really our father? I got the impression from everything we saw in that room that it's like we take control of another creature, a beast. And at some point it started going around on its own without us even controlling them. That's when we were together. I don't know. To be honest, I really don't like the story at all. I am seriously not invested in these characters. Damn, this is beautiful though. So this is where Gilman ended his life. He never met Maria. He never saw whatever evidence she had for him. Someone's here. Someone has followed me into the mine. Hopefully I can lose him. This mine is like a maze. It's easy to get lost down here. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to visit Maria. 
She said she lived in a cabin by the river, not far from the swamp. So you're being chased into a mine and you just like stopped and jotted down some notes? All right. What secret of the hides? What did we hide? It creeped out at night. But what and where? I don't get it. What does it have to do with the missing people and the accident? I must talk to that woman. Especially since the detective couldn't write down her testimony. It's been ten years. I hope she's still alive. This looks so cool. I love the sound of all the insects. And birds? Owls? Something. can hear someone who's not here. It must be the woman who wrote to the detective, Maria. I get the feeling Maria was just like straight up a swamp witch. That's pretty badass. I still have to yeah, I still have to go in the water though, don't I? Let's go now. I'm only safe on that.
It's a long way to the next place. Oh no. It's, I guess you gotta distract it in parts. Oh my god. Got a peek at it. Yeah, I didn't see it move when I threw the first couple rocks. I, I think uh, it was like stuck on a net. I think I have to kind of like distract it around the net in parts. There we go. Mm, maybe it's too far away. After it stopped going towards the distraction, it just, like, reset to its original position? I don't know, that was really weird. Where am I going from? Oh, over there. Wait, am I going over there? Or is that a dead end? That's where I'm going. It just seems like I'd be better off not even throwing a distraction. It's over there. Oh, I see. I see why we needed more time. say it's a, a curse that did all of this but it couldn't have been because horrible weird things were happening long before long before the the murder of maria's husband or not murder it was was it murder i don't know but long before their death Saw you at the inn.
Hm. Half dead, fuck off. Not me to do that. Oh, well, that didn't work great. Oh, I'm dead. Ah, that works better. is waiting to eat me. You think the bog witch like goes through all this stuff just to go get groceries every day? Defense, the jumpy jumpies.
Wait, what? Ah, so the point of what I'm doing going that way is trying to find the crank so I can lower the bridge. The mechanism using the bridge must be somewhere close. Oh, we have it. We just need to get back. Now I can lower the bridge. Yeah, where am I supposed to go from here? Over there, I guess? Yeah. There's a couple bodies over there. Actually, like three. I think there's one in the boat, and then one on that rock, and then one there.
Alright, well, this might be kind of an awkward place to end the episode, but I feel like a boss fight or something really big is coming and I need to go eat. <laughs> so, that's my excuse. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.